up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. What is going on guys welcome to late night mask known as safe and we're going to be reacting to a friday the 13th fan film never hike alone now um i did watch never hike alone or never hike alone in the snow um that was made i think that was made a couple years ago by womp stomp films now if you're looking at friday the 13th fan films these are the guys that really have put so much time effort and a lot of money has been donated um i know there's going to be a second Second movie um i haven't seen the trailer for it yet i know it came out a bit ago and um i know that they're close to releasing this thing i don't know when i've been following them on twitter following their youtube page um but if you want the best friday the 13th the best fan films it comes from womp stomp films they do a fantastic job if you guys didn't see the never hike in the snow i don't know if i watch these out of order if this comes after this movie because the never are this fan film because this fan film we're about to react to came out i think in 2017 this one came out this never hike in the snow came out two years ago um so i don't know if that was just a separate project i guess we'll find out if it was i'll have the links for all uh for both of these films in the description below so you can watch them um but we're definitely going to be reacting to this very excited for it and um yeah let's uh get straight into it so excited so excited All right. Yeah, these guys have been running a lot of Indigo campaigns for some of their films, and a lot of people do. Um, a lot of people do uh, donate to the work that they do because it's fantastic, fantastic. I know that Tom, I'll, you'll see, you'll see in the never, if you watch Never Hike in the Snow, uh, if you watch that one, you'll see uh, certain legacy characters are in it as well, which is great. This is cool though. This, they've captured like the Friday the 13th, like original, like feel to it, plus modern feel, which is great. Music's fantastic. It really, it seems like it's not a fan film at all. Like they do such great work. Like someone's going camping, obviously. I'm so excited. It's gotta be it. Looks like he's going camping, obviously. <laughs> it's based on characters created by Sean Cunningham and Victor Miller. Vicente DeSanti. See what you got. Check 
check. Check one, two. Hey everyone, Kyle McLeod here checking in on another glorious backcountry adventure. This week, we're gonna be venturing through the Wessex County National Forest. Mm. It's home to one of the most diverse ecosystems in the Catskills. Now, we're gonna make about a, probably about a 45 mile loop up and around the lake and hopefully find ourselves back here at base camp in just a few days. I should mention, this hike is not for the weary, so I recommend only intermediate to advanced levels tackle this route. So don't be catching any noobs out here. That's right, looking at you, Hiker Man 5000. Anyways, according to my guidebook, we got about an eight hours trek to our first rendezvous spot at South Lake Summit. And sunset is, oh, sunset's in roughly seven hours from now, so I gotta get a move on. That's gonna be all for now, guys. I'll see you at the top. Kyle out. Yeah, bro, let's check this out. He has no idea what's, what's over here, I'm guessing. He's got no idea. See, he's got an eight hour hike. This guy wants to waste all his energy right now. All right. Got an eight hour, eight hour hike, bro. You want to relax a little bit. These shots are so good. I love the shots. So what, is this going to be like a camera type? to be like a camera type um not like found footage but Why was I waiting for someone to pop up next to him or something? <laughs> 18 miles, 40,000 steps in a 276 story climb later. And here we are, South Point Summit. Whew. And I think right over the ridge right there is where the lake is. All right, that's gonna be all for now. Catch up to you guys later tonight. Kyle out. This ain't hey, gonna be up, good. This week, I want to show you a pretty handy tool that is essential to your gear list. It is a three-piece collapsible shovel by uh, uh, Fuck. What was it again? <sighs> so tragic. Oh wait, well, he's got like collapsible shovel by Land Industries. <laughs> he's reading cards. <laughs> what? <laughs> He doesn't even know what shovel it is. This thing. This thing looks like a piece of shit to me. Looks like a piece of shit to me. Awesome. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Land and Industries. He's like, I don't know what kind of fucking shovel this is. <sighs> Here we go. Satisfying. Hey, what's up, trail junkies? This week. Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I get sometimes. <laughs> That's how I get. Sometimes I fuck up like six, seven times on a video. I'm like, damn, I can't get the words out right. Lots of pack of coyotes. Six, maybe eight. I think they're hunting something. What the fuck? I'll just pick this thing up tomorrow. Someone just killed the coyote, obviously, or something, because you just heard some, or someone shot it? I don't know. I couldn't tell what that was. Hey, what's up, guys? So it's day two and a beautiful one at that. 
Something pretty interesting happened this morning. I found an old trail marker on the other side of the creek. And it's not marked in the guidebook, but I think it's just more of a reason to check it out. Oh, and hopefully, if all goes accordingly, we'll find ourselves on the south side of the lake. So today's mission will be find the lake. <sighs> You know, the train's not looking too friendly, but I'm just gonna have to make my way. Nothing's stopping me. All right, well, that's all for now. See you guys in a little bit. Kyle out. I wouldn't just check something out just because, but. Two E zero three. Am I am I lost on what that means? Two E zero three. I don't know. I could be really stupid right now. I don't know what that is or what it means. Was the camp looks like a camp is closed type sign? What is that? Hey, hey check it out. No trespass. <laughs> All right. So according to my guidebook, the land beyond this was donated to a wild preserve decades ago. And it doesn't say why, but whatever the reason, they must not want people on this side of the lake. Wish <laughs> I would've known that before I walked all the way out here. Oh shit! The problem is, if I turn back now, it's gonna take me all day to get back to work. Turn the fuck around! Or... I wouldn't suggest this, but... I could probably cut through and catch back up with one of the trails on the other side of the lake. Holy shit. I'd be shitting my pants. I have this waiting around. It's time to move out. He didn't see him. He heard him, but he didn't see him. So they ended up donating the camp or I guess the city or donated the camp to wildlife. So pretty much it doesn't count as like a place anymore. It's just part of wildlife now. So did he go inside? Did he go back or did he go inside? It looked like he went back, right? Because the... F no, he went... No, he did go on the other side. You better get the fuck out of there, dude. Maybe that's where you had to go. I wonder if he's gonna find the actual camp. Here we are. The southernmost point of the lake. Now all I have to do is catch up one of the trails on the other side of the cove and follow all the way back. Uh, sundown is... Uh, probably in a couple hours. So I need to find a place to settle up for the night. Not safe traveling out here, especially after dusk. 
Whew. All right. I guess it's all for now. Catch up with you guys in a bit. Pow out. All right, so he's camping, I guess. Now again. What do you just trip on? Hmm. It's a uh, dock. The sign. Oh shit! This mo this fucking guy. You guys are not gonna believe this. This place is way more than a nature preserve. Look what I found. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Fucking guy. <laughs> but I guess he has no idea oh. about this camp, what it is. Check this out. Yep, he found it. Let's see what else we can find. Idiot. Bunk beds. Beds. They probably donated the camp to wildlife because it's cursed. And I mean, I don't know. He doesn't know anything. I guess he doesn't know a damn thing about this camp. I, I guess he knows absolutely nothing about it. Doesn't know why it exists. But this is Jason's home at the end of the day, so you're trespassing on his land. This is good. This is really freaking good. I'm loving this right now. Yeah, they boarded that shit all up. That whole place, yeah. Mm. Oh my god. June 13th. Was that a radio? I wonder what he's going to find. Boy, it's probably like an an old ass magazine from the eighties. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna keep that, of course. In the bathrooms. That's where what's her face died. Yup. The first movie. I forgot her name. That's where what's her face died in front of the shower curtain. I mean, why? Just why? I understand walking around the place, but going inside and...
Oh shit, that's like the main, um... The main uh, living room to the cabin. The main living room to the cabin with the fireplace, right? Wow, it looks really good. There's the sign. Oh, it's painted. It was painted on there. Okay. Look, there's a, there's J, there's hockey mass on the shelf. That is funny. Cops were like, we're not touching this place. We're going to let it rot. Let it fall down when it falls down. That's what happened. I mean, that's what what's telling us here. How is he doing? Oh. <laughs> what is he doing? What, like, what is he trying to do here? Like, why does he care so much? Like, I don't get it. Is he just... He's using that damn tool for everything. These are where, but those little tape things is where dead body. These were like where dead bodies were and shit, right? Oh shit. Someone got hung. I don't know what that's from, but. Camp Crystal Lake. <laughs> I can't believe it. My brother used to tell me stories about this place. Supposedly one summer, forever ago, a kid by the name of Jason Voorhees drowned in that lake. The cops searched for days, but his body was never discovered. The kid's mom, who was also the camp's cook, blamed the counselors for her son's death. And one night she went crazy, killing almost everyone before getting her own head chopped off by the only survivor. Right. My brother also said that Jason, who was still in the lake, witnessed his mother's death. And returned from the grave to seek out her revenge on anyone who even answered the camp. <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't really know. It's so like, funny, right? Uh, man, that story used to so funny. The shit out of me. But, you know, now that I'm here and I get to see this place in person, I kind of feel sorry for it. I mean, aside from your lonesome trespassing hiker no one gets to experience this place again that sucks all because of some stupid ghost story you're about to experience something else well the night's still young and there's still a couple more places i want to check out so you guys care to join me So the Pamela Voorhees murders happened back in the early 1980s, which means we might be the first people to check out this camp in over 30 years. That's pretty cool, right? Let's see what's in here. I forgot to mention, I've been seeing a lot of these red ribbons around the camp. I think it's a way to mark the crime scenes. So look behind this door, viewers beware. Yeah, right. Yeah, crime scenes, yeah. You can see his battery's dying on his camera. He's only got two... It, it, he almost had full battery. He's only got... That's where Kevin Bacon died. Kevin Bacon! The Easter eggs are great. I love it. Let's move on. Let's see what's in here. That's where Kevin Bacon was laying on the bed. And that crap. And then she stabbed him from under the bed through his neck. What else we got here?
So this has got to be the kitchen. This must be where Pamela served food to all the kids. <laughs> oh, I love City's scary. Another crime. A bloody mop. You're fucking crazy, dude. No way. There's no way. Yeah, see, his camera's gonna die and then he's gonna be screwed. These sets look amazing though. I don't know if they built these sets. I mean, they probably built some of it, but. Looks really good. Said door to nowhere. You don't see these every day. Back in the day, they used to use these to lift heavy shit on the second floor. Oh, from the third. Uh, Nowadays, just looks like an easy way to break your neck if you don't watch your step. From the third movie. That was fun. Else is in here. Somebody died up there. What's her face died up there? Two people died up there, actually. Where's the pitchfork at? I wonder if he's on find the pitchfork. Probably not. <clears throat> I think someone was living here. Oh boy. Was that Jason's bedroom? A birthday prayer for you. If there's any joy that you wish for, God grant it may gladden your way. If there's any blessing you long for, may that be your gift for today. If there's any help you're needing for betterment, comfort, or cheer, God grant it be sent on your birthday. Fuck. To stay with you year after year. My special love, mother. <laughs> That's deep. <clears throat> what is that? It's Jason's B.O. I don't know. It's her head. So obviously, somewhere. Oh shit, he's got one, he's got one battery, he's got one uh, thing on his battery left. He just jumped from the, t he just jumped from all the way up top. down oh my fucking god dude get 
Oh. oh he looks so good. Looks so good. Nice. Oh shit. <laughs> Prosthetic is. Like, uh, yeah, I grab my favorite weapon. That machete is my favorite weapon. I love that. It's, it's to see him black through the mask like that, through his eyes. So good. Yeah, you're getting out of there now. Does he have his camera on him still? Well, at least this guy's not tripping. He's literally constantly running, so never mind. <laughs> Just as long as he's not tripping, he's good. Always happens in a movie like this. Fuck. He tripped on the damn no trespassing sign where you should have. Not one in there. Ah, you're fine. You're good. It's an open wound, but whatever. You're fine. Yeah, I don't know why you're not paying attention to what's going on around you here. Yeah. He looks really good. God, he is fucking menacing. <laughs> I love it. How they're using the music at certain moments and those shots of him are just so fucking good. And what he's going to do, it's it's your fucking nighttime now. Yep, he still got his camera. He still got his camera. It's about to die, probably. Wouldn't doubt it. Yep. Just give it to my parents, I'm gonna tell them something. 
Bro, don't give up yet. got no choice i mean you just keep running in the woods or go back and it looks like he's oh it looks like he's fine like i said he's just it's not a big wound like he's gotta try to get his stuff but i just don't feel like he's gonna survive this Cause he left it in the main hall Didn't he? Unless Jason took his shit Nope he got his shit Fuck that. I'd hide in there for a while. And, oh, well, he knows where he is now. He's gonna go in there. He's gonna go in there. Where the hell are you throwing that? Do not like this at all. He's doing all of this while he's under the fucking table. Ah, oh, man. I don't even think that's fully closed, bro. I'm shocked that Jason didn't even go inside that fucking... I'm surprised. Get the fuck out of there. Only thing he doesn't have is his damn camera, and that's fine. But... No cell phone, no nothing. He's got his Jeep out there. trapped He probably seen his shit there before. He probably knew that he saw his he probably saw his stuff. He was probably already in there. It's probably why he knows his stuff is missing now. And he's gone. Uh Jesus. Oh my god. Fuck, dude. Now run. What's 
he going? Oh. He's his weapon. Oh, shit. Your legs fine now. It's a nice prosthetic on his face. That shit is cool. the axe that he threw at him. Ah. He still went back there and got his shit. Now he's got now he's got a whole nother Guy's lucky right now that he lasted this damn long. Dude. He knows. He knows. I'd hit him with the fucking axe right now. What the fuck? Oh, he, oh, he did get him with the fucking axe. Well, I don't know if he's gonna die. I mean, he got stabbed like bottom left side. So maybe it's not as bad. Right, he's gotta keep fixing himself. What are you doing? All oh, the book just saved him? Did it? Oh, it kind of it didn't, but if he probably would have died if that it went through his ball, oh, maybe I don't know. That shit went right through the book that he had in his pocket. So, probably still not good, regardless. God, I'd still be, I'd still be using the axe. I'd be fucking finishing the job right now. There's no me running from this shit. Don't turn your back, bro. That fucking blood. He's got like blackish blood. I guess that. Mm. Fuck this. Yeah, fuck this is right. Get the hell out of there. Oh, that's a cool shot. That was an awesome shot. Is he gonna make it back to his Jeep and he's bleeding to death right now? 
Got a cut on his leg, cut on his arm. Stab wound. Dude, you gotta get the. F I don't know how far you went, but you gotta get the fuck out of there. Oh, shit. Oh, she's crushing his fucking head. Oh maybe, oh, maybe he dreamed that. Maybe he dreamed that whole... Hey there. Don't worry. You're okay. Everything's gonna be okay now. You're in good hands. Right, Axel? Axel. Huh? Oh, hey. Axel. Welcome back, brother. Hey, didn't anyone ever tell you you should never hike alone? Oh, god damn. Look at the beard <laughs> I got the You should never hike alone. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Try not to move. Oh, that was a okay, nightmare, obviously. Been through enough already. Let us take it from here. Where are you guys Can at? Tell us what happened out there. What's the last thing you remember? Do you have any in your head for Is he seeing shit, or is he actually in the fucking ambulance? Oh, he's seeing shit. He's all fucked up. He's all fucked up. What the fuck? What? How did this happen? Is he dreaming? Yeah, he's freaking out. Where are you guys at with this ambulance? Okay, calm down. Everything's gonna be all right. You're okay. He's, he's still out there. Oh. What the hell is going on? Oh! Here? It's Tom Matthews. It's, it's Tommy funny, Jarvis. It's under control. Are you sure? Didn't sound like it a second ago. Yeah, I'm fine. Axel? Shit, Axel. Oh, oh shit, man. This is a mess. Yeah, I'm gonna need a minute to clean this up, Tommy. I'd say maybe five tops. All right, make it quick. We got a long ride ahead of us. I don't want to be out here any longer than we have to be, okay? Was Tommy work for like, he's just an ambulance driver? Oh, he, he knows, he... He knows, he ain't stupid. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up? I think there might be someone else in the forest. Are you sure? It was something the patient said when he was awake. I don't think he was out there alone. The guy didn't sound all there from where I was sitting. Yeah, I know, but... I've never seen anyone that scared before. All right, well, we should follow protocol and call it in, right? Yeah, thanks, Tommy. Yeah, don't mention it. Rescue 26 to dispatch. Requesting correspondence, do you copy? Rescue 26 to dispatch, do you Maybe copy? Maybe Tommy thinks he's dead. Hey, dispatch. Uh, we're heading back to County Medical. Or maybe he doesn't, because he looked in the woods like he... Hiker out here on Cunningham Road, do you copy? Copy that, 
Copy that, 26. Do you have a description of the individual? Over. Uh, that's a negative on the description of the individual. Son of a bitch. I know. He said, I knew it. Tommy? Let go of me, you ugly son of a bitch! <laughs> Something's uh. happening to Tommy. Is he dying? What do? What's going on? Hey, hey, man, what are you doing? Let him go. Axel? This bitch. Hey, man, put him down. Axel, are you okay? I'm just gonna sit here and just do nothing. <laughs> Axel, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, what are you gonna do? Grab your scalpel. Is Tommy dead? Did they just kill him? Oh my god, what the fuck? He must have saved Tommy's life or something. I don't know. This guy don't get a fucking break. I feel bad for this guy. I honestly do. <laughs> oh, that's great. I called him Maggot Head in part six. Oh, is that it? That was so good. That was really good. I, I honestly really enjoyed that. I thought we saw a combination of a lot of things. I mean, the music was fantastic. The shots were fantastic. I liked the whole thing with it was like a found footage type thing. Not really found footage, but kind of like a live camera. You know, kind of he was putting on a show for his viewers or making a video and um, stumbling on Camp Crystal Lake, going there, and then not knowing the whole time, like, does he know about Camp Crystal Lake? Does he know about Jason? What's going on? Um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was great. Tom Matthews, um, which is awesome. Tom Matthews is in a lot of fan films now, I've noticed. Um, and his presence, his voice, like, and, you know, hey, maggot head, like, he said that in part, in part six, which was great. You know what I mean? So, um, it's nice that he's kind of, you know, they've, they've got him to, you know, uh, be in these, you know, films now. Uh, there is a continuance to this. I know there's a, you know, Never Hike Alone 2 that's coming out. They're, they're still, uh, I think they're, they're still uh, trying to get support. I don't know. They're trying to, I think, I don't know if they're still uh, having donations for it or whatnot where you could support it still. Um, but I'll have the link in the description for obviously both of um, the fan films, this one and the Never Hike in the Snow one that I talked about um, earlier. That's really good. And um, obviously Tom Matthews is in that one um, as well. I didn't I thought, you know, I don't know if that was a continued story or I think the Never Hike in the Snow show, like I said, was a different it was a different story. I just think it was something they made. And then I think it got big, um, you know, so that's really cool. So um yeah, um, I, I, Jason looks fantastic. The prosthetics of him, the way he looks, I, he looks he looks great. And even uh, I actually like the surviving guy. I actually liked him a lot. He was uh, sometimes you don't like like the main characters. You just root for Jason. But I was really rooting for this guy. I think the only mistake he really made was like get, getting into you know really going on the way you know passing that you know that no trespassing sign going to the cabin then he's like oh i heard stories about this place i'm like oh jesus you're there and you heard bad stories about this place you know so i was figure, figuring out if you know there was things going on which was pretty cool so um if you guys enjoyed this uh the reaction just watching it together was just fantastic if you guys haven't please subscribe to the channel like the video as well uh, we're going to be doing more fan film reactions and especially a lot of friday the 13th stuff it's obviously my favorite so um other than that guys you guys keep running enjoy your day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out